கண்டிப்பா தண்ணி ஆட் ஐ எம் ஜஸ்ட் தண்ணி இருக்கு மை சிஸ்டர் புட் பிளாக் காஃபி ஃபார் மீ அண்ட் ஷி ஆல்சோ கிவ் மீ சம் சம்திங் டு ஸ்நாக்ஸ் ஐ எம் டோட்லி ரெடி வாய்ஸ் இஸ் குட் வாய்ஸ் இஸ் குட் ஆ ஓகே யூ ஆர் ஹேப்பி ரைட் ஸ்ரீகாந்த் so amazing to have you man i am so thrilled i've been in all smiles since this morning and uh i it it i've had some sort of a reflection i should say because it brought back a lot of memories podcast number 1 first <laughs> ever episode in the i love air our journey was with you and it was i think this time last year or early march in the i can't remember yeah almost the same time exactly pata probably was year. it's almost March. and uh, i th- yeah i think it was actually because just couple of days ago i received a notification on facebook saying i checked in at uh, jb hifi jb hifi is the electronic store okay and i had taken a picture of me holding the first ever mic that i bought for this podcast oh okay <laughs> and i had checked in that and then that came up as my memory and that was the day when i went into that electronic shop to get mic and everything that i need to set up for the podcast poof man i can't believe and what I mean, a journey, what a journey. i mean yeah you have started it. with you had... <laughs> it's been no it's a, it's been amazing because this is not a simple thing that you've been doing like so many artists and so much of uh, important content and uh, because it it all it has like all of your all of your videos have the you know um, the heartfelt moments and information of all the musicians who worked with him which is precious and it's actually a blessing for everyone to be able to i think i texted you after listening to a couple of them recently too so i mean it is it is it is brilliant it is a great thing so Thank i'm so you, happy man. to see this continuing so well um yeah i mean i should i should say firstly thank you to you because uh when, when i did come up with the uh, whole idea of the podcast the first person i called was you i said shrikant i have this idea i don't know well, maybe should we try and you're like okay when i said tonight yeah oh is it really oh okay done <laughs> that's where the journey began i still can't believe i mean uh, your guest number 79 by the way in your oh, okay in my <laughs> whole life circle life comes uh, around circle crazy yeah. man but this is podcast 2.0 i am so thrilled and uh, so the journey began over there and then little did i realize that uh, that was in march and in a few months sir will come on the podcast i had never dreamt about it and still remember when i asked sir he, i i told him sir i only need 15 minutes but if you say no i'm fine and then he said no i'll give you 30 minutes so that's and, and i think th- he's at for longer than that right that's what you mentioned 55 right? minutes and 4 <laughs> yeah. uh, 4 seconds or something like that and it's been a phenomenal journey man i mean never ever i had imagined where shankar mahadevan sir hariharan sir shreya goshal ji and uh, chitra ma'am and absolutely everyone have been on the podcast and it started from you buddy that's the best part and Uh, I, I know think... that is that's an honor I mean what was this thing <laughs> So you're my lucky charm <laughs> And I I'm, 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 I'm so happy that I met you in Trichy man I mean we hit off like this and I think when we started speaking I didn't feel like I had met you there for the first time and then we just hit off like this it was so amazing such a great friendship for years to come and forever rather and just and sir, you'll have to bear with my whatsapp and uh, all that stuff <laughs> no you have to bear with me <laughs> no, no no i mean i'm always i'm the one who annoys you in that <laughs> I, I, i don't see it most of the time so that's why i feel so sad like oh my god i see it after day and so like i'm so sorry for all that <laughs> no 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 not at all <laughs> and uh, buddy i mean I, i i was so so happy about the fact that i was going to get you on the podcast again and then i was very very looking forward to it and today it was a crazy day in the office and then i was just waiting okay when will i finish when will i finish just so that i can just get on to the podcast and do something that i absolutely love which is this and uh, yeah man i'm so thrilled to see you on the podcast again and yeah, yeah, yeah. how are you exactly been happening been good i mean of course yes it's been it's been really nice Yeah. and uh most happiness to see 99 songs coming out after a long wait 
and um, other than that also things are fine and i'm more, i'm really excited for sir and for everyone and for including myself for everyone who is being yeah. part of this team yeah uh, so yeah that's what is currently running in the head all the time beautiful yeah i mean i still remember when you came on the podcast for the first time this time last year for the first time um <laughs> you know <laughs> i asked you about 99 songs and then you said no no look don't uh, i can't share it with you uh, said, no 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 i'll not release it in the podcast and then i actually got you to sing sofia for me then and you were so thrilled and excited and man i mean it's now out i have to tell you buddy i mean i have to confess something so i have grown with 99 songs since the last one year ever since the hindi one released and then i know we all have right when it released it's it was so magical great no doubt about it and the i think after a few days after it was released we started to see fans retweeting sir left right and center asking when is it tamil when is it tamil when is it telugu when is it tamil Indeed. and <laughs> sir was sick and tired of that i'm pretty sure but i did ask him i candidly asked him sir do you get annoyed with people asking you left right and center like this i asked him in the podcast it will come and it comes so he said no no like they are doing it anbinala dana kekranga i said yeah that's true sir <laughs> so sir never gets annoyed of course and uh, so i know uh we've all been waiting for this moment it's now here and uh, the tamil album released and then i am not saying this to flatter you but i first thing i did in the tamil album was hear sofia because i uh, firstly i wanted to hear okay i am sure there's going to be some magic in it especially coming from you and i heard that the first song the as soon as the tamil one came out man i was blown away and uh, especially the part where maunam the way that is definitely your mm. improvs right or i am 100% sure that was yours no that particular one was so uh, like un mauna tele sofia that one was uh, that was that one was so input so um, yeah that one was so input if i remember i i i was so so amazed at, that's i don't know that's magic for, for me man i have and i i rewind that 15 30 seconds and then i hear that again because i love it so much the that i don't know what happened to siri <laughs> so i absolutely love it man it's so so amazing um and look uh, what i did was of course i have grown with the hindi no doubt and tamil it's mind boggling i mean absolutely i love all the tracks no doubt about it and i found it very hard to switch between hindi tamil and then to be honest with you i haven't heard telugu yet so i said you know what i'll dump all the tracks in one playlist called my 99 songs <laughs> and i dumped <laughs> hindi and tamil of course telugu i haven't done it yet okay. uh, so it's just going on in a loop for the last one week because it's been a week since the tamil came out right yeah yeah so i am loving it your song play has played nearly 10 to 12 times today in that loop all day <laughs> and i absolutely love it man especially that part that part was absolutely amazing for me like for me that's magic so awesome. look i've i've done enough talking to be honest <laughs> i'll let you talk right 99 yes. songs sofia everything you have to tell me don't hide anything <laughs> okay actually there's um there's actually quite a lot if i if i collect recollect in terms of memory with this song because um this is the first song that i recorded for sir uh it is not onakaga so um, hey, really i can't yeah, believe a, it yeah this is the first song so the story goes like this so my show got o- got over in july 2018 yeah uh, the reality show i was in and then um, sir promised me an opportunity to yeah, do yeah. the show yeah yeah it is and uh, so thing is i was really afraid to go out of chennai because uh, usually i've heard people say you know if if we are not in place we might not get an opportunity and if the call comes and you don't go it's gone so i was really afraid and i never went anywhere out of chennai uh, i tried my best not to and in january i had to go to trivandrum for just one day and correctly i got the call and 
and i told them it was Ka- karthik and i was like na na ee oorku vanne appo then obviously i couldn't go i missed out the chance i don't know what it was for even and after that i was so sad my whole family akka everyone we were like so sad uh but just kept praying nothing yeah. else i mean um, out of sincere love you know we just kept praying nothing else to do and uh, exactly a month later on february 13th hmm. i get a call again and at the day i was still in, I, again in trivandrum i went for a single day yet again and after the 12th i mean the january episode i came back to chennai and again i didn't go anywhere but on that particular thing i had to go to uh, trivandrum i had a small performance and i got this call hmm. so but this time they said it's okay come come soon and i uh, got a flight ticket booked by them and right away flew down to chennai and i went to the studio right in the midnight at the okay. at one uh, one am or 12 12 pm one na- i mean 12 am one am sorry yeah, yeah and uh, so sir wasn't in town uh, sir was in the us that time and uh, suresh and other like uh, krishna jethana they were all there arthik anna so then i went in and uh, they handed the song and the lyric and everything um and i was just blown away by the song as everyone would have um yeah. and shashwat's voice it was i was listening to yeah. hindi and yeah. i was in love with his voice it's it's just beautiful yeah and i learned the song and the wonderful lyric by madan karki sir uh, so all that together and krishna krishna jethana recorded me that day that night right and again um stayed over and had something else in the morning and after that i went back home and uh, i had no news about this uh, after that as always yeah. you would know how it goes yeah uh, so after that um and funny part is i recorded this beautiful love song on the valentine's day <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> and after that on um, in april again i got a call saying you know you know what one song uh, seems to be getting moving forward so sir wants your audio he said i was shocked i mean i haven't met him since then and i was like super super shocked so then i went to the studio um um and i went there at around i think 6 pm 7 pm sorts so mm-hmm. i was busy with a lot of other works and a lot of other work going on the studio is always busy many times so i kept waiting there and uh, in between some chorus work came so i joined in i sang the chorus it was also another track for 99 songs okay. and after that i waited till 4 am 430 am and then they said i don't think it's going to happen today it's getting too yeah. busy and i i uh, i got a cab and i went back home Hmm. and the thing is like uh, there was a junction beside my home uh, my cab reached there and i get a call saying hey sir wants to record you right now i was like oh my god okay i got down i i didn't have time to book a cab so i just saw some i think cab or an auto or something showed my hand hopped in rushed to the studio he was already near his piano ready for me wow and that was the time was like i think 5:45 or such and uh, in the morning so yeah. i went there <laughs> and he made me sing uh, next to the piano he just jam for a bit and um, checked if i know the tune if everything is all right and he gave a few suggestions on how he wants it and okay pola so i was like i was super nervous and then i get, got into the studio and uh, the voice booth and he went to his console and after that literally it's like a dream i don't remember much uh, <laughs> but um, um i just remember him pushing me beyond my limits and this is not the kind of genre i usually sing like i i usually tend to sing a little more you know normal melody kind of a stuff is what naturally comes to me and mm-hmm. especially back then 2 years ago mm-hmm. so something very powerful very passionate um i don't know if i had tried that much in that way of that passion before but he just uh, push me and uh, it just happen and he doesn't give you time to think he'll say a change and he'll be like he'll just click right away and i think we'll have to sing so it was like that uh, and i think that was also one of the quickest sessions like it was a dream like i think by six, um, around 6:30 it was all over yeah. and i heard some nice words in between that he said when i sang and it was like i'm going to save that for the life uh, for the lifetime <laughs> and uh, uh, it was a beautiful day and i reached home and you know i didn't sleep the whole night right and but still i came home and i was alone there my sister no one was in town i couldn't sleep i i stood up till like noon till 1 pm and stuff i couldn't sleep i called them i pestered them and i sat and meditated i i don't know i prayed i wrote down on my diary mm. uh, i did all sorts of things and mm. um that and you know i couldn't believe it it was just beautiful and i think it's also because of that song the runakaga happened so i know that i think i've blabbered the most 
intimate part of my Beautiful. stories with it thing so <laughs> i so love it and uh, look i want to ask you more about this sofia recording so you you learned this you learned the track when you were at the studio so you didn't have any clue about what the track was going to be until you went to the studio huh? no yeah absolutely yeah. wow and how long did you take to actually learn the track usually the learning time isn't much when you go for recordings because right um uh, it's it's sometimes you don't even get a track to listen to you go into the voice booth or you just they just make you listen before you get in wow we listen to it a couple of times or three times and cross check with the lyric and so for some music directors they'll ask you to you know sing it in front of them and then correct and then go to the voice booth otherwise it's directly into the voice booth and everything happens once you go in there so that's how usually things happen so here the, the, the track was already there so i listened to the track maybe like 5 10 times i mm-hmm. guess i got the time for that uh, and um, then got the lyric so i crossed it the lyric and then went into the studio and we started recording it wow yeah that is for the first session the the first track and i sang it yeah yeah wow i didn't know that that was your first track and yeah that was my first track as well but obviously you didn't tell me the last time you came on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> i hit a lot of details you know <laughs> Chuma, i'm just saying i'm just kidding no no great man so the track is out now and people are loving it i have to tell you how much the community is loving it but before i say that tell me how do you feel the track that you've sung for the first time with sir now given that that's your first track was your first okay. track or is your oh, first track with sir it's always a um, i mean it's always a surprise because for unaka the thing is it happened very quickly i recorded the final version within a week the song is out so i remember what i sang i kind ah, yeah, of know yeah. what came out in the track for this one i have no clue because i sang it and it's been 2 years i have no, no real memory of it i mean i did have but what happened is the hindi version came right. and i kept listening to the hindi version like over and over again and it's completely shashwat's version that's in my head and um, it's like and also sir did, did a lot of changes in the tamil version like tiny mm-hmm. tiny detailing according yeah. to the words and as yeah. you said that unmonatile all those stuff and lot of other tiny things so um for the for the audio launch thing when they sent me the track to learn and time i was like i couldn't understand this i was so surprised that he made me sing like this this open way um and so passionately and all that stuff it was so different and i had the hindi version in my head and this was so different i didn't expect every line was a surprise oh here there's a thing like this here there's a thing like this so that was my um thing so all thanks to him it it is it's always a surprise and um, it mm. was just a different experience too nice and since you mentioned audio launch i don't know if you noticed when shrini sir came on the dais to talk he mentioned you did yeah. you hear he is one of the kindest person because uh, that day he was sitting behind mm. in the the last rows and um, um, so as soon as i finished singing for the audio launch he was the first person he right away texted me lovely sing man he texted me right then and there i was still next to the stage i was like I mean he's so sweet it's it's a big thing to a um, uh, lot of respect to him you know that yes. and it's actually a big blessing to you know get kind words from amazing such lovely people so how was the audio launch how did you feel going it for was... <laughs> number one is going to an audio launch after almost a year yeah. after covid and everything covid is still on yeah. um so how did you feel what was running in your mind oh it was too special <laughs> and uh, I was also afraid because I had to sing, but I was also happy. And uh, so you were told expect... that you were going to sing. Sorry. You were told that you were going to. Yeah, sing. I was. That um, yeah. the previous late night I was informed, yeah. and I started practicing and learning. And you know, I told you that's when all this episode happened. And um, um, and when I went there, I thought it'll be just for a press and stuff. When I went there, there was like uh, Shankar sir, Anirudh, um, all the uh, uh, big names in the industry. Everyone was there. and not just that the it, it felt like a family kind of a thing because yeah. all of sir's team was there you know yeah. all the programmers yeah. the like technicians that. um everyone so that was a beautiful thing and every singer who was part of it who could make it were all there so i could meet many of them mm. and um, that's a that's a beautiful thing you know it, it's like a family meet kind of a thing of 99 songs it was so beautiful and sir's words whatever he spoke ehan was there yeah and um all the lyricists Yeah. Kaki sir, Vivek sir, everyone, yeah. everyone was there. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it's a beautiful thing. It didn't feel too formal to me. It was very nice, and we could watch the trailer and the videos of a couple of songs that was played over. Um, all that it was just beautiful. 
so nice and did you get to talk to sir did he say anything about your singing that day or no i couldn't meet him yeah. definitely we sa- i sang i mean that after singing i didn't know if i had to speak or not you know because uh, i didn't want to do what i was not told to so i just kept quiet and uh, but it's all here so i hope the energies will reach him <laughs> that's in time of course, of course. and uh, so tell me how did your parents feel man when the song came out it's been a week it's still fresh and how does your yeah. sister feel I, sure, I they are all very oh, proud. Yeah, they are very happy. But it's not just about my song. They are just too happy about the whole album, okay. because um, every song is so different. Yeah. At the same time, the fourteen songs are gems. Like yeah. there's nothing, no part of an album which you feel like you know maybe I can listen to it later. Nothing. Every song and all the singers, I'm just blown away by everyone. Like Sasha, her jazz kind of a song that is incredible. Yeah. Shreyas, the sweetest voice. Vijay, uh, Vijay Chetan in Tamil. I'm, I'm just talking about the Tamil album. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, Hari Anna, Benny, yeah. um, um, Johnny Ta, Sharanya, Sirisha. Every every single track in that, um, um, yeah. Sarthak. I mean, it's just mind blowing to have fourteen songs. And I was just telling someone, you know, you never get to see a one hour long, um, what to say, uh, jukebox Correct. for an Indian movie. <laughs> so it's quite a rare Correct. thing. Correct. So it's it's precious. I mean, yeah, sir's been very kind. You know, last year when the lockdown, like pandemic hit us, and then he just released it. And yeah, the Hindi. The, personally, me, it has helped me so much to heal during that process. um uh, and uh, 99 songs is so very close to my heart man i mean there i don't think there has been a day where i haven't listened to 99 songs since the day it was released last year so um and now added bonus with tamil um i only <laughs> heard tamil for now and then with so yaji's so lullaby is my sleeping song right now it's 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 so huh? shreyaji's lullaby in that oh that's so so cool <laughs> and and so many layers man and it's amazing like as i said i keep repeating myself about the improvs for your you know the, the uh-huh. your i i absolutely love it those are those are the tiny things that it's like magic for me right absolutely and <laughs> that's what i said even the telugu version is kind of different from the tamil version yeah so um that's one thing with it because it's own song and he's ready to experiment with it to any extent <laughs> and uh, i was just surprised by by that like i'm uh, it, it's it's so it's so nice you know when you have uh, one song but listen to all the different possibilities in in his own stuff so yeah. that's just <laughs> yeah so beautiful so look before i move on to my next thing that i want to chat i think I have to definitely request you to sing please maybe a oh. couple of lines of Sophia Udinde kidande Sophia aayiram tundena anaithe inaitha Sophia aagine you have such a big fan following within the Isla OAR community i have to mention a few names there is one guy called ragu raguram from chennai huge huge okay. fan of yours and he will do anything for your voice and you as a person too and then he's so so mad about you 
and then I think mm-hmm. um, there's another one, Florence from Chennai. I think she's also a huge mm-hmm. fan of yours. And uh, there are many like this. Yeah, Akshay from Melbourne. I have to mention about him. Okay. So interestingly enough, um, you know, there have been people who have been following me on Instagram after the number plate thing and all happened and all that. Mm-hmm. But they didn't have the courage to message me to have a word and things like that. So your podcast released for the, f- the first ever podcast released. And yeah. this guy Akshay was probably driving his car and then listening to the podcast. And then you sang Kwaja Mere Kwaja in the podcast. I'm yeah, sure really, you remember yeah, that. Really. Yeah, and that yeah. was absolutely magical again. Look, Vita, uh, shamelessly, I'm going to ask you to sing it again in this podcast, but we will get to that. <laughs> and and he heard that and he was almost in tears. And then I think he pulled his car over and then he messaged me. He took courage to message me after being following me for about an year or two on Instagram. That day, he took courage to message me saying, bro, I just heard Shrikant's podcast. It just touched me when he sang Kwaja Mere Kwaja, I, uh, I was lost. And so thank you so much, bro, for doing something like this. And uh, then he got in touch with me and we've become good friends. And he's now part of the I Love AR community. And see the magic your podcast created. And there are many, many, many <laughs> people like that who have messaged me after they watched your podcast. So, and it's Thanks amazing for man. that. I'm grateful. Buddy. I want to touch on 99 songs again. So, hmm. of course, you sang Sophia, no doubt. Great. There's one more song I felt uh, would have been a surprise. I, I somehow felt that you had not revealed to me that you probably would have sung that one. But I was hoping that that would be you as well. I somehow felt O Ashika version in Tamil would be you. That's me guessing. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> until the album released and all and i didn't i didn't ask you but i thought for that particular song i think sir probably would have got you to sing and i mean vijay he has done a great job no doubt about it but i still feel that this it's going to be even more magical with your voice in it so 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 and no one knows who who can who, i mean he he's like i don't know <laughs> it's that song is so magical yeah Just and a huge 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 fan of it yeah for sure and then i'm sure you you like both versions hindi as well as tamil and tamil Absolutely. vijay has done a great job too yes so um buddy i know i mean look uh, so sofia has been phenomenal and then uh, there's there's how should i say there's more magic that's going to happen after sofia so is there a song that you felt you could have sung apart from sofia if you ask any singer everyone will say they can sing the whole thing because we'll be happy to sing all those you know beautiful tunes so that's a, <laughs> I, i don't think i have the right answer for that uh, i mean see um, that's what because we'll feel happy to sing any song for sir even it be a uh, even it be a single line or a single word mm-hmm. because it's not just to get an opportunity with him it's not about that because yeah. it's a very magical thing and for me it's a very you know in a solar it can be like a it's a very big spiritual space that he has so i i'm always happy to be any any small part of it um because there's so much to learn each time so mm. uh, after being a kid i'll say I'll, i'll go and sing every song <laughs> no, that's what i'll say being too selfish but um, no i mean i don't know any which song can you say no to ideally you can True. never say that so. True. and how do you feel about sir's part in sofia <laughs> Oh, I don't think I recognized that or I heard that and I recorded because it's only when the song came out that portion was there is what I believe if I remember right. So I didn't expect Sir's voice there and it was, oh, it just took it to the next level when you hear his voice there. So, oh, that just added another layer to the whole, whole song. I mean, yeah, man, that's so magical and uh... <laughs> yeah. um how should i put it i mean i don't know how sir does it and i i'm always amazed with the vision he has got that you know for this particular song if he sings this part it's going to create the magic i wonder how he does that man 
Oh my god, that's it's yeah, it's his thing. It's special actually when you listen to his voice suddenly coming up. It's it's mm. so passionate, you know. You suddenly there's nothing else you want. You'll just keep listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how many times have you heard Sophia ever since it was released? Yeah, so the first time is like you know I found it too different than what I had expected. So mm. that was the first big element. Right, and so I listened many times to get that you know to, to let it sink in. and then was the audio function la- launch and stuff so for that also to learn it the right way was pretty tense because it's different and um, even otherwise you know the feeling of happiness and uh, i actually listened to it five six times to just recollect the memory of the recording because it's been too long two two years or so yeah. and uh, i just kept playing it and reminded what all happened who mm. who all came into my life at that particular moment yeah. and how was the session how was that meeting with sir um so i i don't take photographs much you know i don't yeah, i, I believe in my memories more than photographs so i just took some time to recollect and you know make them refresh them and keep it close to my heart so i think i listened to many times <laughs> sure and uh, so apart from 99 um i just want to take a step back so the whole of last year has been interesting for the whole world right so and what i absolutely loved about you is the fact that you embraced it and then you were obviously uh doing things more um in the creative space of course like in terms of jamming collaborating with others and then putting out covers and how much of last year with everything that we went through has helped you um now things are while things are getting better now and are there things that has i mean are, are there any lessons that you have learned out of last year and i'm just curious to know how last year has an impact has had an impact positively or it could be more constructively god who is this hello <laughs> so Hi. So Srikanth uh yeah I was talking about the I love ARR community yeah and this is one of your fans and I wanted to give you a surprise by bringing Oh okay I'm <laughs> really shocked <laughs> You look shocked yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh so, hi Sam Didn't mean to scare you hello how are you I'm doing great how are you doing Good thank you Nice to see you here So I mean yeah as I said right the I love air our community absolutely loves you and then I wanted to give one of the members like Samita to uh, give a chance to talk to you she might have a question or two and then yeah so Sammy Shrikant is here <laughs> Hi it's lovely to meet you um I'm not sure what you guys are talking about before but looks like you were performing a few things so I can't wait to hear that when the podcast does come out And um congratulations on 99 songs. Love your song. Thank you so much. And love your other songs and your YouTube covers. Um I would say Kahi to I think and Kal ho na ho you did a while back the a cappella. That was really really nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. In fact Kahi to I I'm sorry to you. That was the more recent one I think. Yeah, right? yeah. it was the recent one and then when it released um I shared it to Rashid Ali. I said yeah you mentioned check out this cover. <laughs> Song. Yeah, song. go Sammy. Sorry. No, I was just saying that. Um, yeah, I really like your voice, and again, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Sammy. Thank you for taking your time and coming in and <laughs> saying that. Thank you so much. It means a lot. And yeah, yeah, Sammy is also a singer, very very talented, and yeah, okay. uh, she has had the opportunity to sing in front of Rajiv Menon as well, and Rajiv absolutely loves her voice, so. Sammy, have you got something for Shrikant? Yeah, I can. I can sing Sophia, um, but Ooh, in Hindi. Wow. Yeah, please do, please. <laughs> It will be great if you can sing the next part after that, though. Huh? Okay, cool. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just start from the middle part then. Okay, sure. Tere naam kahe Sophia, arth kya? Tu bata. Hey Roshni Sofia ya sahar tera naam 
सुनाम ले तरकी बोसे सारे अंधेर बुझा चमके जो किसी की नसीबों में नूरा सा तेरा नाम <laughs> मैं देखू तुम्हें सुफिया तो मिले हर जवाब मेरे मन की सहर सुफिया तेरा नाम सुफिया अमेजिंग टू इट्स लवली टू लिसन टू यू Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she sings really well. Amazing. So, Sammy, what else? Um, Fire away. Yeah, I just I had a question that I was just wondering. Um, just like based off looking at your performances, everything. So, if you had to choose between singing and your violin, what would you choose? Singing. Okay, <laughs> that's a good answer. I I wasn't expecting you to say it so quickly though. I thought you'd have a bit of a confusion. I did have initially because I started off playing the violin. I didn't sing initially. I sang yeah. later, yeah, right? So, um, but once I discovered my interest in singing and figured I have at least a bit of talent I can help in and work with in singing, um, then I don't know. Violin wasn't there with me all the time, and I think right away with singing, I love the aspect of the voice and I love dealing with it, and I love it. It's it's so it's so connected directly. You don't need another instrument for it. So I feel very attached. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you chose singing. Yeah, <laughs> we'd miss your voice otherwise. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. And what would you say is like the best lesson that you've learned from A R Rahman? Oh, good question. Okay. Um, when I when I see him working, um, the one thing I always feel is, for him, everything is very spiritual. Mm. That's one thing I always connect because. If he doesn't feel something is right at a moment, if he if he feels like working for something at that moment, he just right away does it. There's no, mm. uh, you know, t- m- multiple confusions about it or anything. And he's very much uh, what to say, right in the moment when he works on something. There is, he doesn't get lost in thoughts. He doesn't get lost in thoughts of the future or the past or things. That's why I feel it's very, uh, so much of intuition happens when he works. Mm. So which is what we have to sit and learn. And I don't think that happens when you sit and worry about. Uh, what someone will think or what mm. happened in the past so i think that's one of the biggest lessons that i could i could see from him and there, there's one more thing i would like to mention and that would be uh, you know there is this quote in bhagavad gita which says like you know what you do is most important you shouldn't think about the uh, the result of it yeah right. and i think i see that in every little aspect of him including 99 songs i don't know if he I mean, he deserves all the success, but his work is beyond all the expectations all the time. And I don't think if someone, if we expect a result, I don't think it will come. So, too many things to learn. But uh, the top two picks would be this. Awesome. Yeah, I think I in one of his um interviews he said that how like people don't initially like they might not react initially, but then if you go years on and on, and then it sort of slowly dips in. So it's not just about like whether it's like a straightaway hit or not, but it's what lasts. For the rest yes, of your exactly. life, yeah, and we still keep singing his songs after twenty-five years. Yeah, exactly. With the same yeah. passion and with every generation does it, and it's the same amount of freshness. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So. Nice. Thank you, Chandler, for this opportunity. I was, I was just. Those are like my top two questions that I wanted to ask. No problem at all. <laughs> How about you sing something? Um. Yeah. It, we it can be anything. Would uh, I can. Well, speaking of like old AR songs, what about Jia Jale? Yeah, it's up to you. Do you want Srikant as well to sing? Yeah, do you know the Do you know the parts? Mundiri danje kunchi kyo mundiri muttuli. Yeah, you start. I don't know okay, which okay. you're gonna sing. Okay. Jia Jale, Jia Jale, Jia Jale, Jia Jale. Nenu tali, dhuwa chale, dhuwa chale. रात भर धुआं चले जानू ना जानू ना जानू ना सके वे जिया जले जा जले पुंजरी दंजी कुंजी क्यों मुंदरी मुत्तले चिंती क्यों मंजनी वर नचुंदरी वावे तांगन नकत तगदमी आडम तांगनी लावे होई 
പുഞ്ചിരി തഞ്ചിക്കൊഞ്ചിക്കോ മുന്തിരി മുത്തൊളി ചിന്തിക്കോ മഞ്ഞണി വർണ്ണ ചുന്തരി വാവേ താങ്കുന്നക്ക തകതിമിയാടും തങ്കനിലാവേ ഓയ് തങ്കക്കോല് സല്ലേ കുറുകും കുയിലല്ലേ ശ്രീകാന്ത്ലാസ്റ്റ്ാൻ <laughs> I had shortlisted that to suit the like time constraint but No okay. no there's no time constraint you can, oh, okay. you can ask uh I'll keep my mouth shut you run the podcast let's see Uh well I'm not sure what you've covered but um also I just wanted to say um recently I saw your sister's performance also on Super Singer 8 and it was absolutely amazing it was really nice to see both of you on set really together nice. um but also I guess coming back to the topic of singing and everything. Um I'm also interested to know in terms of like, you know, criticism and like how you have to deal with that and like constructive criticism that you may have gotten and how you sort of use that to improve. Ha. Huh. Plenty of them. So <laughs> <laughs> So uh you know there were a lot of things like since I told you I started singing late in my in my life. So uh, there was a lot of things I I wasn't good at. um still am but still a lot of things were lacking when i initially started uh so i used to always get criticisms like there's no emotion in the singing or um, i i never used to get technical stuff in my voice because you need practice for that uh so a lot of th- things like that even from uh, even on stages because the first time i went was in a reality show out of interest yeah. i don't know why i did that but i just felt like applying and i applied and went away that's when i actually started singing so you know how reality shows are especially in kerala they just dissect your singing into you know it's it'll be like a full blown investigation into your singing so you get uh, every every nook and corner will be commented upon and wow. it's very detailed so though as a child i won't say i was feeling very happy with that i was just 14 but uh, it really helped me a lot to you know when someone pushes you uh, sometimes you have to take it in the right way to make use of it we can always find fault with someone saying negative stuff but um slowly i realized it all made sense and i i started working on those aspects and um maybe because i didn't practice initially in my younger days without interest in music that's maybe why because i'm really interested in the aspect called voice because mm. any amount of input you put makes such a difference in in the presentation at the end of the day and uh, voice is an instrument which you know makes you connect directly to your heart you don't have to think and then sing it should be very direct that's what i always feel so um all these realizations happen because of all those criticisms so criticisms though initially might emotionally traumatize us a bit it can be taken in the right sense if you give it time yeah. and patience i feel so uh, very nice yeah That's, that's what i said i hope i answered your answer question yeah 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 um just one more question sorry so yeah, the it. process like when you are recording a song with air romance and like the process of that so how does it usually work in the sense do you have your like do you have a lot of your inputs that you offer to the song do you guys like freestyle it first or is it more like you know like he'll direct you and then you follow um i think so i i've been had as many experiences as the senior artist but with limited information what i felt is um he does all of this because there yeah. are certain portions of the song which he feels like retaining exactly the way it is for the simplicity for certain things even if i uh, so in this in the end in sofia itself in the end there was a thing called adviral galuk anaite inaitai sofia i did it on like this it's just not there in other things so it just happened in a take and he suddenly said oh that's nice and he kept it So I don't think that would be the case with everyone but he does take in any surprises and he is also very free flowing and I I was talking to Chandra about it if you listen to any of his songs in nine times songs or any anything in different languages sung by different singers it all sound different because he yeah. I think he looks at everything as a fresh version and um, so there's there's uh, not much of predictability in his uh, music and his working style so that gives all the freshness so i think he equally imp- uh, incorporates all the three things that you mentioned like what he specifically wants mm-hmm. also the creative inputs of the other musician plus his own intuitive things so it's a mix perfect mix and how's your experience from the first time you recorded with him to your latest 
<laughs> so the laughing we... because there's a story oh uh, okay <laughs> which is this is the first song we had recorded for sure oh okay yeah so, unakaga was later mm. so oh okay so it came out in different yeah, times then exactly. oh okay yeah. okay okay but in either way first to most recent what's been like the experience and the change oh yeah first was too much of fear and uh, too much of uh, i don't know whether i am i good enough kind of thoughts <laughs> and after that i realized i shouldn't think that and it's an it's an opportunity it's a moment and i should just pay, give respect to that moment and go sing and i felt more comfortable after the first time even the first time he made me feel super comfortable that's not with him but just my stuff but um i uh, luckily for both the songs sir recorded me the final versions like uh, it was just him and me so mm. both the times he was i don't know he was totally into the song he was totally into the moment and everything was the same he's he's in his 100% all the time that's what amazes me the most so yeah that's what i feel <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much again. Any time, Samantha. Thank no you. problem at all. Thank you so much for joining, Sammy. Thank you. I'll leave you guys to it then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Catch you later. Thank Peace you so much. Bye. Bye. No worries. Right. That was Nobody nice. You like you the just... surprise? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And she's also singing really nice, nice voice. Yeah. And you didn't even, you didn't even, you know, you were, you were so casually speaking, and I was like listening to you. And suddenly, your video pops up. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was meant to be a surprise, and then I, I, I definitely wanted her to pop in when I was talking about the I Love R R community, uh-huh. and that's that's how I had timed it. So, I think the timing didn't quite work very well, but anyway, <laughs> it worked for me though. No worries. So, <laughs> so and uh, yeah, we were talking about uh, the learnings from last year and um, how did you how it has had an impact on you and stuff. so yeah last year was very 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 different um mm-hmm. there were a lot of things that i learned i would say because i i am very much interested in song arrangements and uh, mm-hmm. mixing mastering and all that process so i think i i started experimenting with that because i couldn't go anywhere i was at home yeah and from then on i have tried to do all my covers and everything yeah. i haven't like you know i've done it um, by myself for the mixing mastering and wow. the arrangements to whatever extent i know i'm not saying i know them professionally well but that's a big step according to me for me mm. and um, i was doing an original song so i finished composing and um, it's all done the song is ready i'm just going to do my video the next and that's a big thing that happened due during the lockdown for me a mm. uh, lot of reading happened and there were a lot of interesting experiments in personal levels so yeah it's been beautiful and um uh, i realized also one thing i know it's like doing nothing is also really nice sometimes it, it sure. gives you a lot of space so uh we tend to focus on doing things and see reactions of others and the mm. focus is too much on the external world all the time so mm. this one year gave us this moment where we had nothing else we just had ourselves and there was nothing to react to so we you know the beautiful little moments of life the the time the space that we have personally without the botheration of the external world is also beautiful space so i'm learning more to cherish that so I guess beautiful man. Tiny, tiny things. I'm sure it's going to inspire a lot of people. Yeah, buddy. So look, um, I know I, I would love to keep you here for hours and hours and hours and hours. But the thing is, I mean, at the same time, I have to be conscious of the fact that um, I have to let you go back into your creative space and things like that. So, but before I do that, I do have to hold you back and uh, get you to sing some of my favorite songs. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> the toughest part of the podcast is now here. I'm Ooh, just joking. It's also the happiest part. <laughs> um yeah, look. Um the song that absolutely created a lot of magic mm-hmm. uh in podcast 1.0. Oh, okay. Was you know what? Khwaja <laughs> mere. And I think I made you sing that even in the group jam. with alfons and bomba i think i think i was ah, yeah yeah uh, yeah to correct, ask correct. you to sing again so podcast 2.0 i'm shamelessly asking you shrikant please sing it <laughs> it's always a pleasure just a couple of lines is fine yeah sure mm-hmm.
तेरे दरबार में ख्वाजा दूर तो है देखा ख्वाजा जी तेरे दरबार में ख्वाजा सर झुकाते हैं ओलिया तू है रुतबा है प्यारा चाहने से तुझको ख्वाजा जी मुस्तफा को पाया ख्वाजा मेरे ख्वाजा दिल में समा जा शाह का शातु अली का दुलारा Amazing man, I'm so lost now. Goosebumps. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sir. Magical voice, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, next one. Yo. Kun faya kun. Oh, okay. You, you didn't expect that. I didn't actually. Yeah. Kun faya kun kun faya kun faya kun. faya kun faya kun faya kun jab kahi pe kuch nahi bhi nahi tha wahi tha wahi tha wahi tha wahi tha jab kahi pe kuch nahi bhi nahi tha wahi tha wahi tha wahi tha wahi tha वो जो मुझ में समाया वो जो तुझ में समाया मौला वही वही माया कुन फाया कुन कुन फाया कुन फाया कुन फाया कुन फाया कुन फाया कुन वाव so good man so good i mean i i just somehow feel like i should just get you to sing and then i should lose myself all the time <laughs> so good man and i have no words to say buddy it's, it's like you took me into a whole new world um so the next one pick a song that you like um the last time podcast one point ho you picked nayana neer bahai from water Yeah, and it was yeah. absolutely great no doubt and then that's when you reminded me of that song saying chanda you should go and listen to that because i hadn't listened to that for a long time and that's been playing on my daily playlist but pick another song this time something that you always wanted to sing let's okay, say then... sir calls you and says pick any of my songs and i'll no you don't give me that question then i'll say every song that's not possible <laughs> <laughs> that is not the right thing uh okay i'll do one thing i'll um anbendra malayile agilangal nanayave adirupan thonrinane vaikolin mel oru vairamai vairamai vandavan minninane விண்மீன்கள் கண் பார்க்க சூரியன் தோன்றுமோ புகழ் மைந்தன் தோன்றினானே கண்ணீரின் காயத்தை செந்நீரில் ஆற்றவே சிசுபாலன் தோன்றினானே அன்பென்ற மழையிலே அகிலங்கள் நனையவே அதிரூபன் தோன்றினானே வைகோலின் மேல் ஒரு வைரமாய் வைரமாய் வந்தவன் மின்னினானே வந்தவன் மின்னினானே வந்தவன் மின்னினானே well done well done buddy beautiful beautiful absolutely love it magical man magic 
Um, last one before I let you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Ashika. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be Hindi, Tamil or Tamil. Oh, ma, how do I call you? कैसे कर्ज चुकाऊ तेरा दिया कहा भी न जाए तेरे सदके जान भी मेरी जाए ख्वाब तेरे wow man amazing yeah oof the, that particular part uh it it just somehow brings tears in my eyes all the time and uh, yeah exactly. there's something and it always i don't know why it reminds me of sir singing it that particular portion i don't know why it's really like, I, it's like i can hear sir singing it when shashwat sings it it's just that whole line you know the composition i just feel it sir's line <laughs> it just goes straight on the heart yeah maybe when he comes on the podcast 2.0 i should get him to sing it how <laughs> <laughs> it might just sound magical uh anything you want to tell to sir via podcast 2.0 of course i got you to say something in podcast 1 um anything you want to share you'll need one hour <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, no I don't know I mean um too many things because extremely grateful because uh you would know that when you get a call from sir or when you go speak to him for a moment you know so what all things rush into you so the same level of um excitement um uh, respect love and everything that happens when uh, you get an opportunity to work with him or even meet him or spend some time yeah. with him so ever ever grateful for that and each step of his has always pushed the other mus- uh, other musicians beyond their boundaries so mm. for everything we can only be grateful and thankful to him and i really uh, pray to god that i get um, more opportunities um, to learn more from him and to get inspired by him and um, yeah that's it i don't know what else to say amazing too much too this. much <laughs> there's there's a lot of uh, many more journeys that's going to uh come for you man and uh, you're you're incredibly blessed talented and then you make us all proud i mean you know i feel so good when i hear you sing and then i just want to keep you singing all the time that's it and uh, i can imagine how your parents will feel when you sing and just keep it going man and you're inspiring a lot of people within the community and the likes of samita who also came um she, she just loves your voice and there are so many people within the community who absolutely love you and then yeah sir likes you too and he keeps you in his mind and then invites you to sing so i'm 100% sure that there are heaps and heaps of more opportunities coming up and um yeah you you're going to rock even harder and i can't wait to see you i want to see all the amazing success stories that's about to come even more so yeah man thank you I'm extremely thankful to you for coming on this podcast and thank you for the friendship the amazing friendship that we have had and then years to come and forever and uh, yeah and I just can't wait to come and meet you in Chennai <laughs> yeah soon may that happen soon seriously all the travel and everything should get back yeah indeed great yeah. buddy thank you so much once again man thank you so much to you too because it's so happy to be here back exactly after a year <laughs> and uh, may this uh, initiative of yours keep growing and may the team unite like it's uniting and yeah best best wishes thank you it's thank really you so much